So, hello. So, who are you? Hey, I'm Joan Solvin. I'm an Applications Engineer at uh, UICO. And uh, what are you showing there? I'm showing you here um, the Hikling Kling Band that uses uh, UICO's GeoTouch technology as a touch sensor. So, it has a touch? It does, yes. And that means you can sweat and go in the rain and all that stuff exactly. and it just works? Exactly. Under all conditions. All conditions, yeah. in the snow, in the ice. In the cold, in the heat, uh, when there's water pouring on it, and your hands are wet and dirty, you can continue to use it. So that's awesome, but you have even more, right? Absolutely. So yeah. what's the other stuff you have in there? So the cool new thing we've put in the cling band is our new wrist sense technology. So everyone's used to the touch sensors on the top surface. We've also put a touch sensor on the underside this time that allows the band to detect whether the band is being worn on a wrist or not. So this allows their operating system to turn off certain technologies when it's not being worn. So they turn off their heart rate monitor, they can turn off the pedometer, a few things like that to make sure that they're not draining any battery life. So um, where's, where's the sensor? Uh, the sensor is, is a round sensor underneath the surface of the, the back plate. Nice. So it yeah. actually goes through the plastics exactly. and the metals exactly. and stuff? Through the plastics. Through, through the, the plastics. plastics. Yeah. So through the plastics, yeah. you, you, how, how does it look like, the sensor? It's like a tin foil. So there's a small thing in there yeah. that has your technology, your algorithm. Exactly. To... There's a chip that drives that sensor and projects a capacitive field past the back plane and uh, allows us to detect whether there's a risk present or not. That's really important, right? Yeah. It does, is it reliable? absolutely reliable. It needs to work under all conditions. It's obviously a very specific use case and we spent a lot of time perfecting it to make sure it just works. So uh, they've been able to get over seven days of battery life on this product by using our technology to turn off devices when it's not being worn. Seven days. This is with heart rate monitoring? Exactly. And it's always active? Uh, only when uh, you're actually wearing it. So when you wear it, it's always active? Yes. So it's always monitoring your heart? Yes. And you can still have days of battery days life? Days of battery life, exactly. And it's only thanks to your technology? Absolutely. They so do nobody else is. can do this? No one else can do this. What, what, are, what would people consider doing to try, if they were not working with you? Yeah. To, to, there's no other way to know if you're wearing a smartwatch or not? Um, I think a lot of people have tried a bunch of other technologies and they tend to cost money or power. And the way we've accomplished it, by using the same sensor and the same chip that you're using for the, for the surface sensors, um, allows them to, one, reduce cost, reduce the bomb, so there's less space on their board being taken up by a separate chip, and we can keep the power down really low. But that's totally awesome, right? Yeah. And uh, so how long have you been working on to get this ready? Uh, we did it in a matter of months. So very you are quickly. fast at getting this Absolutely. out to the market? Absolutely. We're a very small, agile company, so we get things out there quickly. So not only every smartwatch needs it on the front, now every smartwatch needs your technology in the back, too. Absolutely. And it's ready. It is. Right so now. It's out there on the market. And sh shipping on this one, uh, which is a, a maybe going to be a blockbuster uh, band because it has tons of sensors. So you can see really it's not outlet. sensing anything right now for the, temp the skin sensor and uh, I think the heart rate's on this side. Oops. The heart rate are not sensing anything right now because uh, yeah. I'm not wearing it. But and you if you see, put it back on, yeah, I don't even need to actually. Just when I put my hand on the back, it can sense that there's actually skin contact. So then it can turn on the heart rate monitor. Really cool. 